tvOS 18 has finally been released to the public. This is a list of all the Apple TV devices that are going to be getting tvOS 18. Feel free to pause to make sure that some of these new features and changes that I'm about to cover will be coming to your living room pretty soon. In the Apple TV app, the rich metadata has finally been added that only used to be available in this up next section that you see right here and so if you go to the apple tv section and go to the library tab right here if you have a purchase or anything from your movies or your recents if you press and hold you now have the ability to access the rich meta data and so you can do this by going to the movie tab right there under this section you can see a description of the movie and you can see the starting actors and director as well and if you continue down you can see the trailer and you can also be able to see other related apple tv shows or movies this isn't only restricted in the library tab you can go to the home section or to the apple tv section right here and in the tv shows or top movies if you press and hold for example you have the ability to go to show and now instead of automatically playing the show by default like what you used to do before it will provide you this rich meta data right here and you can always go at the back and see the season see the trailer and at the same time see the actors and the different crews that acted this and you can be able to see how to watch this which was only available in up next and you can see the restrictions and accessibility as well as the age insight is an amazon prime video like feature that has been added with the apple tv and so when you are playing any show on the apple tv you can scroll down like this on your apple tv remote and you see this insight feature and this is dynamic and it's it updates as the show plays and right here you can see as the different section of the show appear you'll be able to see the cast you can see their name and their acting role as well and in insight if you click on someone's profile like hannah right here you can see all about hannah you can be able to see the movies they've cast this actor or actress in and you can see the different shows as well you can see where they were a producer you can see where they were guest appearances and this is all information that can be accessed from the inside tab on the apple tv and at the same time if you access the inside feature and there's a track or music that's playing in the background of the apple tv show you have the ability to identify the music quickly and if you click on the music you can quickly add it to your library and if it's already added it will tell you right there so in order to find the music that we've added if we go to the apple music application right here and go to the library tab you can see if we go to the saved songs section right there you can see the new two songs that we recently used inside on the apple tv to be able to identify and they are under this saved songs library so Lauren mcdonald and way yonder in new orleans and you can see the actor and this is the same song that was playing when we identified it in this ted lasso episode on the apple tv something that they have recently added with tvos 18 is this enhanced dialogue feature and this allows you to basically enhance or boost the vocals or enhance them and according to Apple this enhanced dialogue feature is getting smarter with each use so it's recommended you use it more often and it uses machine learning and computational audio to be able to deliver greater vocal clarity over music that might be playing in the series or movie that you're watching and at the same time it can deliver greater vocal clarity over action and over background noises on the apple tv 4k and in addition to home pod speakers users can enjoy enhanced dialogue when listening through built-in tv or hdmi connected speakers if you have airpods that also is supported and other bluetooth connected devices and when playing supported content on the iphone and ipad this is a feature that you might be able to leverage and use if you want to enable enhanced dialogue at a higher priority level you can do this by going into your settings video and audio and under this section you can see enhanced dialogue is there and you have the ability to set it right here 
at the OS level whether you want to choose boost and you can see boost will be selected if you want to choose enhance that's an option that's up to you and at the same time you can also choose it to be off and be able to choose it or set it in the Apple TV app show that you are watching automatic subtitles on the Apple TV application on tvOS 18 have been improved and they will appear at just the right moment according to Apple and this includes when the TV show or movie that you're watching is set by default to a language that's different from your device language so if your device uses english and you're watching a show that is in default maybe in a different language like french then automatic subtitles will show and at the same time if a user mutes the audio then automatic subtitles will automatically show and when a user skips back like this automatic subtitles will automatically turn on as you can see right there and at the same time users can use siri to be able to ask what did they just say or turn on subtitles or turn off subtitles and siri will be able to do that for you right from the get-go something that has been added with watch os 11 and the latest apple tv update if you are a person that uses your watch to control your apple tv i'll be happy to let you know that this remote application has been updated to depict the icon of the apple tv 4k new siri remote with USB C. the icon was recently updated and when you open it up you can see it opens up much faster and at the same time they've improved the ui to be able to give you functionalities that are similar to the siri remote and if you're a person that uses it on a daily you definitely appreciate how these icons were enlarged and at the same time how you have more of a field to navigate and it's more sensitive just like the new siri remote the facetime application was recently updated by bringing live captions which was a feature already available on ios and facetime on the apple tv now gets live captions with tvos 18 and with this feature everything said during a facetime call is displayed as a live transcript on the apple tv screen and since this is just a feature coming out few languages are only supported like english usa and english canada but as we speak more are being added to the facetime application and live captions are going to be enhanced on facetime in more countries and languages on the apple tv speaking of uh, facetime if you go into your settings right there and go to remotes and devices for continuity camera whenever you use facetime on the apple tv you can see right here you have the ability to set a dedicated camera for continuity camera and this will be the default camera that pops up every time you want to use continuity camera and handoff between your mac and your iphone or if you have a wireless dedicated camera then you can set it up right there and it will be the default user camera that's selected with this profile that you can see or in your case the profile that you have as the main one when you set this camera up with tvOS 18 the apple tv gets new screen savers and since aerial screen savers have become very popular on the apple tv with the addition of mac os sequoia that got new aerial screen savers and wallpapers thanks to the sequoia national park we now have more sequoia national park sunrise or screen savers that we can set on the apple tv and we have the ability to set sequoia morning we also get sequoia night and we are hoping to see more implemented on the apple tv i recommend going into your settings and go to your screen saver preferences and choose your areas and only show landscape in order to see this more frequent and at the same time set your download frequency to daily to be able to get them more frequently as it's going to randomize and once it's downloaded you'll be able to preview some of these you can see we have this section that says portraits and portraits is a new screensaver section that apple has added which shows a slide of photos combined with the clock and to be able to use machine learning in order to place the clock around strategically to give the best viewable experience and bring the portrait out of the picture we also have different screensavers and scenes from apple tv plus shows and movies that will soon be able to set and at the same time there's a new snoopy screensaver with the beagle playing around that you will be able to set on your apple tv on tvos 18 
The Apple Fitness application on the Apple TV or TVOS 18 has also been improved a little bit and this time around the app is separated into different tabs for you you have explore you have library and search has also been improved at the same time if you continue to go down you can see the different sections that they've added and they are continuously adding more training workouts and more videos they've added new workouts as you can see right here heat with bakari you have strength with kylie music by camilla cabell and as you continue you'll be able to see the different new tabs right here and they have the stamp new and the meditation too you'll be able to see that they've added quite a fair bit you have activity types that you can choose as well and this time around it's more prominent as you can see unlike before you have different programs as well to encourage you to work out and how you can get started and you can read more on the apple tv right there vacuum robot support has been added on the apple tv and since the apple tv serves as a home hub and robot vacuums are becoming more of a trend the apple tv now supports vacuum robot support meaning that you can use your apple tv as a home hub to quickly send the robot in motion or activate a set schedule right from your apple tv without having to reach for your phone or get up airpods gesture support is here with the apple tv on tvos 18 you do need to have the latest airpods in order for it to work so what this means is that if you are listening to music or you are watching an apple tv show and you receive a notification that requires your attention you can quickly accept or decline a notification from just shaking your head side to side for yes or up and down for no and by just shaking or moving your head you won't need to speak meaning that if there's someone sleeping or a baby around that you don't want to disturb or wake up you won't need to say a thing and you can just use the gesture support energy monitor has been updated on this update and the apple tv once updated to ios 18 and tvos 18 you'll be able to monitor your energy usage for certain countries and regions and this is all thanks to the pg and e partnership in certain regions airplay on the apple tv now supports spatial audio as long as the device that you are playing from is compatible so this will enhance the audio quality and the user experience in the apple music application they've added a feature that used to be there but they cancelled it and that is share play which is now supported on the apple music on apple tv and right here you can see how this looks as long as users are on the same network they can scan the qr code that is being shared and anyone can basically become the dj and only the user that's trying to initiate the share play or that has their account logged into the apple music and apple tv box we need to have an apple music subscription and the rest don't need to have that and they don't need to have an iphone which is something that's good it's good to see that apple has brought this back something you might also have seen that's changed on the apple tv music application is that this section that you see here that said new used to be called browse but it's now been renamed from browse to new and it just goes to show you some of the new songs and what's new in the apple music application on the apple tv or tv iOS 18. When you open up the home application after updating to iOS 18, you will come up to a new splash screen and at the same time with tvOS 18, they've added a new settings that allows you to be able to set a dedicated home hub, meaning that if you want to set a specific Apple TV as the default selected home hub, you can quickly go into your settings and set it and now it won't be dynamically switching and selecting an Apple TV as a home hub that has the worst connection and only the one that you set as the main default will be selected all the time until you set it to auto switching or you set it to its default which is something that's good and it should lead to better stability on the apple tv home hub support now the photos application on the apple tv received a slight update the change that has been implemented is that it actually shows actual library and synchronizes properly to iCloud depending on the account that you would have set it to. Another big change that the Apple TV recently received is the on-demand resource application size limit for Apple TV and right here you can see how the size limit used to be with version earlier than tvOS 18 and this is the section that basically received the change which is in use 
on-demand resources and what this allows you can see before tvOS 18 and earlier it used to be 2 gigs but now with tvOS 18 and later this has now no limit what this means is that developers can make larger applications for the apple tv using tags although apple hasn't really said anything about the persistent storage that application can have access to it was previously made to be capped at 500 kilobytes so hopefully that changes and will mean that we get to see larger applications on device for the apple tv and soon maybe we might be able to see triple a rated games on the apple tv another big change that tvOS 18 will soon let users be able to do is to let apple tv users open web links on iphone and ipad and this is all thanks to the immersive video that apple is promoting for the apple vision pro and this includes a new button in the description screen that when pressed it drops a web link to the user's nearby ios device or in extension ipad os device and since it had not been possible to browse web links on the apple tv this looks like it's set to change with tvOS 18 it could be with tvOS 18.1 as it's not implemented fully yet and right here you can see how you'll be able to airdrop a web link from your apple tv to your iphone and ipad and be able to browse a link in extension to your apple tv using this airdrop feature this is more of a temporary solution apple should just let users have an actual dedicated safari or google chrome on the apple tv and let them use it instead of just airdropping web links to the iphone or ipad that's about it for me when it comes to all the new features and changes that are currently in tvOS 18 the public release that we have today keep in mind that not everything that we were promised starting at wwdc in june this year are actually in this update there's a few more things that we are still missing and if you want to keep up to date and know whether we'll be getting those in tvOS 18.1 or a future update definitely do hit like and subscribe and those keep doing tvOS 18 updates for you so that you stay up to date so that's about it for me my name is ben and i'm signing out